So welcome to my video on changing decimals to fractions. And in order to do this, it's really important to have your units memorized. And in order to help you out with this, I wrote an example for you on the bottom left part of the screen. Here we have 0 0.123. And let's take a look at our units. Notice the first unit to the right of the decimal is our tenths unit. Notice how our second unit to the right of the decimal is our hundredths unit. And notice the third unit to the right of the decimal is our thousandths unit. It's really important to have these units memorized. And once you do, you'll find out changing decimals to fractions can be done pretty quickly. So let's get started right away with our example. Here we have 0 0.35. And the important thing to look at is your last unit all the way to the right of the decimal. So notice this last unit is two units to the right of our decimal. And remember, from my example before, the second unit to the right of the decimal is your hundredths unit. So we know in this particular example, our last unit, this five, is our hundredths unit. And I'll label it for you, just so it's easier to see. And since our last unit is our hundredths unit, we can make our fraction out of a hundred. And how many hundredths do I have? We have 35 hundredths. So in my numerator, I'm going to put 35. And once you turn the decimal into a fraction, you always need to simplify or reduce into lowest terms. And notice how the 35 and 100 both can be divided by 5 evenly. So I'm going to divide both the top and bottom by 5. And after we simplify this fraction, in the numerator we have 35 divided by 5, which is just 7. And in the denominator we have 100 divided by 5, which is 20. So the decimal 0.35 written as a fraction is 7 over 20. So here are some more videos with more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you are finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.